time shared systems at the end of this lesson you will be able to explain the working of time shared systems list the advantages and limitations of time shared systems you know that multi programming allows a processor to handle multiple jobs at the same time it focuses only on increasing the cpu utilization however it is not enough if only the cpu is utilized efficiently we also need to utilize all the other computer resources efficiently that too when multiple users access the resources simultaneously they have to be managed efficiently so that the utilization of resources is high and also the users waiting time for the resources is less this can be achieved with the use of time shared systems let us learn how time shared systems participate in reducing the response time time sharing is a logical extension of multi programming ctss that is compatible time sharing system is a primitive time sharing operating system which was developed at mit the time sharing systems were developed to provide interactions between the user and the computer system several users can access the system simultaneously through their respective terminals here the os allocates specific time duration for each user at each clock interrupt the os regains the control and assigns the processor to another user this technique is known as time slicing the user program in its execution can be called as a process job or task when the cpu is multiplexed with several user jobs the current user job would be preempted that is temporarily stopped and another user job would be loaded into the main memory this happens at regular intervals the preempted job again resumes its execution and their user programs and data are taken back from the secondary storage and restored in the main memory let us see an example to understand more about the time shared system consider three jobs namely job 1 job 2 and job 3 which are submitted by three users for execution simultaneously now the monitor first loads job 1 and transfers control to it whereas the other jobs are in the waiting state when the time slice of job 1 is completed the control moves on to the next ready user that is the monitor decides to transfer control to job 2 but if job 2 requires more memory than job 1 job 1 must be written out first so that job 2 can be loaded next job 3 is loaded into memory to be run here job 3 is smaller than job 2 so a portion of job 2 can remain in memory to reduce the disk write time later the monitor decides to transfer the control back to job 1 this process continues until all the users finish their respective jobs let us do an activity before going to the next session let us discuss some advantages of time shared systems time shared systems provide a minimum response time for multiple user process they reduce the cpu idle time similar to multi programming the limitations of time shared systems are it does not completely secure the user program and data it is expensive to develop sometimes switching between different user tasks may crash the system let us summarize some important points summary time shared systems allow many users to share the computer resources simultaneously using time slots the users access the system simultaneously through the different terminals 
At each clock interrupt, the OS regains the control and assigns the processor to another user, which is known as time slicing.